babies um our son is is 20 years so it's really different it's different compared to when he was young so i will not be participating on vlogmas um i think even last year i didn't participate on vlogmas i don't know i don't remember but anyway thank you so much for being here thank you to my new subscribers thank you to um, um my returning subscribers my new viewers and my returning viewers and uh, i have an announcement to make i have been selected as one of the people that will be participating in youtube made for you um i am super 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 excited and i must say that i knew nothing about this uh, it was from a sister you know a kind and loving sister niza bay if you do not know her her name is Ntwaki. her channel is niza bay she's the one who led me in on it and i applied and thankfully i was um accepted and thank you thank you thank you i would like to dedicate this video to women like you it is not always that we find uh, women that would literally just lift you up when you least expect it uh on when you are going through those hard times you know um so thank you thank you thank you Nzaki. i think you are an amazing person and for that i will forever be eternity grateful i will forever be grateful to you till eternity i do not know what uh youtube made for you means what it entails but i think for me anything that comes while i'm doing this youtube a small window or anything that uh, resembles some form of progress i appreciate it uh, if you do not know her channel her channel is uh niza bay kindly go check her out give her some love and um yeah support her don't forget to like comment and share while you are over there um and if you enjoy her content kindly do subscribe to her channel thank you thank you so much lady uh, you deserve a crown you deserve an award for your kindness so on this day i i was doing laundry as always i always try to start my day with ironing it's not perfect these days but i am trying to to start my day with ironing because if i don't it piles up and it becomes overwhelming to deal with there is something that has been weighing on me quite a few uh quite a bit um it's something that i saw on social media actually and i wanted to find out from a, a youtubers per se that when you are shooting and doing what you are doing um do you tell do you explain to friends family relatives that this thing is a job it is not bragging it is not that you want to show off it is a job it is a full-time job i think people don't understand sometimes that youtube is hard work because while you are doing youtube life does not stop uh, your responsibilities does not change they do not stop they do not lessen if anything you are quadrupling your 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 workload when you do youtube because on top of ice cleaning cooking i will speak for home make uh, for homemakers you'll still be cooking cleaning <laughs> doing laundry being a mother being a wife being everything that you want that you're supposed to and sometimes even some of our homemakers they are working nine to five job jobs and you still have to go to work and on top of that we are our videographers our own videographers we our own editors uh, we do everything you shoot you edit you upload you manage your content you manage your social platforms 
you literally do everything on your own and you still have a community of the people that are doing similar to you because uh, there's nothing we are not islands a human being cannot be an island you cannot exist on your own you do you do need people um surrounding you you do need help you do need support you do need love you do need advices so on top of everything else that you are doing as a homemaker you are also doing a youtuber a a youtubing and youtubing guys is the same as someone who is into filming you know movie making and all that who actually wakes up and go to work you understand and get paid for that so with us when we do it we do it but the fruit comes much much more later in life but i was just wondering if we explain to our people our relatives our friends our families that this is a job and just like any it's a business actually and just like any business you put money up front you invest in this thing whatever we do it's an investment you know of course um personally the type of content that i do i don't go out of my way to create content i shoot what i would do even if i was not shooting how are you guys dealing with that do you sometimes feel like you are being judged for what you are doing or it's just one of those things that you just you know mm, just run with it because i feel like especially in our black community it is not understood quite well it comes across as if you are breaking let me know in the comment section how you are doing it how how <laughs> how is it how are you dealing with it basically because hey it is so misunderstood it's not even funny sometimes it comes across as if you have money or you are bragging or you, and that is not true it is a job we are just we just chose to invest in it that's it <laughs> that's it but anyway thank you thank you thank you so much for you guys always coming back to this channel for the love for the kindness and everything else in between i appreciate you guys um and i hope that this community will grow or this family will grow if you have not subscribed kindly do so but if you have if you guys have noticed i've really stopped asking you guys to subscribe because i really want that i really want people that enjoy my channel to subscribe because if you subscribe because i asked you to and you are not going to watch that does not really do anything for my channel actually it hurts my channel because it's as if people don't really enjoy my content so i prefer for people to 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 subscribe to my channel because they want to subscribe or they like um what i'm doing instead of just instead of them just uh, uh subscribing because i asked them to you know yeah but anyway that is that um this is after i was done with laundry i normally put two to three hours in a day in the morning of ironing and putting laundry in the washing machine and 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 here i was making biscottis last time i tried someone else's recipe because i felt like mine was cakey but after seeing the results of that i decided that ah mine is much better it is much much better i will try to write the recipe in the description box i'm not good at that if you go into the description box and it is not there i forgot kindly remind me because sometimes we do voiceovers and then we upload and we forget that we are supposed to do something else but i uh, measured about uh, six cups of flour into here and then uh, i measured a four hundred three hundred and fifty gram of 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 um 
butter and 100 gram of sliced pistachios, 100 grams of cranberries, uh, four and a half teaspoon of um, a baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, a one cup of milk, and then I added nine small eggs if you are going to use large six will be fine if anything seven and then i added a tablespoon of vanilla essence into there and one cup of milk and i added two cups of sugar into the mixture of everything and that was it that was it i love 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 biscottis um they are a lighter version of the rusk so i always go for them um they're so nice man so it's easy for me to make them they don't take time um in real time actually this took me 17 to 18 minutes it was 17 plus you know uh without uh i mean the preparation you know but the entire process takes about a day this is how you shape it anchor I still have white chocolate chips and um, uh, raisins in my cupboard. I think I'm going to use that. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use. I don't think I'm going to put nuts on the, the other one. Though I do have almonds. So I'm going to make the last better. And I'm going to put um, another 
uh, portion in a jar as well and the other one will just be having tea with it uh, leading up to festive season this uh, like baking in advance always makes uh, life easier for me i would have really 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 loved to make fruit cake this year but mm, oh things are expensive guys things are expensive so i i decided against it uh it was going to be my first time to make it because i've never made it i wanted to attempt it but um nah i'm not gonna do it things are expensive january is around the corner i'm not going to spend unnecessarily i will try and make it during the year because during the year i think i will be able to buy ingredients um when I want to do something, I will buy this this month, the other part of the ingredient next month. I could buy the ingredients of something for three months, <laughs> two, four months, as long as they don't go off. If, if it's those type of ingredients that don't go off, I often do that and it doesn't put pressure on me, you know. A lot of things, even if you see me doing them, you might feel like maybe I bought them all at once, can't you know? <laughs> it was three months of preparation <laughs> to get to the to the end. Uh, for me to get the, 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 the things that I need, I probably spent about three months um, gathering the ingredients for me to be able to do that. So that's how I do things. If I'm going to buy the ingredients, for the fruit cake now i think ah uh, plus i feel like it's late it's already december guys you know it's already december so yeah i'm not going to do it so this is later that day i was prepping dinner um i'm in my bowl there there was a mixed leaf packet and there was another packet of of leaves that was baby spinach rocket and uh, what else was it watercress and i added um is it spaghetti beetroot or whatever i don't know what they call them uh there's a name for this type of beetroot that is cut this way and i added exotic tomatoes and i added robot peppers i love color in my salad <laughs> I love color in my salad and then I'm adding uh, blanched uh, broccoli. I blanched it. I think we have blanched uh, vegetables in this channel quite a bit that I don't think we need to redo it over and over. If you don't know how to blanch, kindly check any video that has um, vegetables into it. I do show that. And then I added, um, what do you call feta cheese on top i love 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 feta cheese i'm trying to cook more lately i've been trying to cook more uh healthier version stuff it's not perfect but i'm trying i'm attempting i'm not saying we are not going to eat junk we love junk in my house <laughs> but i'm trying to make sure that at least four days out of uh, seven days we eat healthy or try to have more vegetables than anything else so while after doing that i decided into making some form of a relish um for the potatoes i have steamed i'm steaming the potatoes in the oven so i chopped one medium-sized onion and i am chopping one green chili this is basically a salsa but um i opted not to add the the tomatoes because i already have them in a in, in my salad so i only added the onion um the chili and the red pepper for color you know and then i added uh, olive oil and i added yellow salt into the mixed them together and i also added red wine vinegar into the mixture uh chili ch chili flakes into there and i also added um grain mustard into there that's it that is a relish for my potatoes i steamed them in an oven covered them with foil if you want to you can grill them that's entirely up to you 
And my dressing is more or less the same as the the relish. The only difference is that here I used sesame oil instead of olive oil and um, mixed that together. And I also added um, a lemon, one lemon. This was too acidic though. I would make uh, half a lemon of it. And that was what we had on the day and as always i always dish one plate first because i want you guys to be able to see what i am doing because if i make um if i dish three it's going to be too much clutter so yeah that is our salad the potatoes and i added a little bit of tuna on top and then the relish is going to go on top of the potatoes this is a simple 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 meal and but it looks fancy <laughs> but i don't think it's fancy this is something that you can that i believe that each and every one of us do have in our fridge or our cupboards and you can also do the salad with the, the, the spinach, like the real, real spinach. Or you can blanch kale and do this. You can be creative with what you have at home. You can be creative. So, yeah, the one after dinner, I proceeded into slicing the biscottis. The loaves have cooled down. So we are going to slice them and I will be baking them for the second time on 70 degrees, 200 degrees. It depends on your oven. My oven, it's both uh, the element and a fan. I don't know how to... It's, it's a combination of both. So 70 degrees to 80 degrees always works better but i if i do it any if i do anything more than 70 degrees i have to keep on
spinach, watercress, a uh, rocket, and um, yeah. And I added uh, robot peppers, and I also added um, grain mustard, normal Dijon mustard, uh, crushed black pepper, yellow salt, red wine vinegar, and a little bit of extra virgin oil, and tossed that together in a bowl. Uh, just it's boiled potatoes. I boiled the potatoes. Um, and uh, I didn't season them. And then this is what, this is part of the dinner that we were going to have on that day. Everything else that was, that we were going to have, it's easy. It's It doesn't need to be explained. I actually didn't do anything much to it because it is broccoli, uh, peas, rice, and the meat. The meat, I literally just added um chicken stock onto it yes chicken stock i know and then the peas and the and the broccoli i just cooked them with butter in a microwave and that was it that was dinner